photographer. Let's take a look at our best bets of the week. And we'll go ahead and compare. Now, Scotty's, uh, you know, we have some games here that we did not cover. So we'll jump in on some of those here in a second um, as well that that he had. So um, let's go down Scott's list real quick. Uh, he sent in all of these. He has Tennessee plus four and a half uh, against Chicago. Uh, I think the line is still, let me double check and make sure these lines are still accurate or, or if they've shifted ever since we uh, got these in. Still four and a half. Tennessee is minus 122 at the plus four and a half here. And this is, um, I'm, I'm speaking for Scotty in this one, knowing that I think that there's going to be some, you know, that the first game back for uh, the first game of the season for Caleb Williams, I, I want to say number one overall uh, picks don't fare well in their first game. And I think that trend could be um, um, maybe why this game might be a little closer. However, I do think Chicago's roster across the board is a little bit more cohesive and it's going to be... Um, they just have some talent between uh, Keenan Allen and um, just... All the weapons on this on this Chicago offense. I just think that that's going to be an interesting challenge for um, this Tennessee team. I I don't know if I'm as confident in Tennessee plus four and a half as Scotty is, but Bears Caleb Williams debut um, is going to be one that everyone's going to be watching. Uh, obviously, the other side: Calvin Ridley, Tyler Boyd, Tony Pollard, Legereus Sneed. There's been a lot. I mean, Tennessee's just throwing shit at a wall and hoping it sticks. It sticks, yeah. Um, yeah. Is basically they're just pulling in every player they possibly can. Will Levis obviously is still running the show there for Tennessee, um, but I do think Chicago has. I like the players of Chicago, um, and I like. I I think the hype around Caleb is going to be there. I just don't know if I really want to. Uh, jump on either way but tennessee is where scotty leans also he has carolina plus four uh carolina is uh going against new orleans in this one this was my sneaky survivor pick for new orleans um so new orleans i think should win this game new orleans at home hosting a carolina panthers team that is bad there's not a lot to love about carolina in this one um however uh, the New Orleans Saints offensive line worries me a little bit. Uh, I think that that's going to be an issue. 32nd ranked offensive line, according to PFF. Carolina right. Panthers have gotten better um, with uh, you know some of the things that they did acquisition-wise, draft-wise in the offseason. Um, I think that there's some reasons to think this could be a little bit closer game, but like my mind says uh, my mind says that I, I mean, if if I'm going to lean anywhere, I think that New Orleans could just put this one away real quick. Uh, Dennis Allen against a spread record, 24-40-2 uh, uh, over his coaching career, spanning 66 games, which is another reason why I think Scotty probably likes the Carolina Panthers here. Um, so I think, I don't know. I, there, I could, this is one of those games where I see stats on both sides that, like, Man, Carolina is the way to go. And then I see like five or six things on the other side. It's like, yeah, but New Orleans should be the pick. And I just, yeah, like, I, I don't, I just, so I just yeah. Um, I, I think this guy's just clinically insane for touching this game in the first place. Like, let, let alone picking a team that won two games last year and didn't really get better. Like, maybe Deontay Johnson and Xavier really get get you one more win, but. Yeah, you lost Brian Burns, so that's probably a bigger loss than than what you gained. So I think I mean could it happen? Yeah, because it's a divisional game, so I won't I won't touch the Saints, but I think it's clinically insane for actually picking a side. Yeah, and 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 two, I think, you know, Carolina, I, I the the amount of money I lost on Carolina last year betting them, <laughs> I will never do again. So that's another reason why I'm not betting. Yeah. Listen, chat. I'm just gonna say this. I put my well, not money, but I'm putting my words in my mouth. 
and when we go do our office pool, I'm putting the the lines that I said were going to happen. I put them up, so we'll be able to see if I need to put up or shut up. So <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know. There you go. What says JJ? What's up, JJ? Uh, welcome in. Remind me, JJ. Who's uh, remind me of your teams? I forget. Uh, I, I'm still Is it getting... JJ from McCarthy? <laughs> Is it Minnesota, JJ? Uh, the, the other NFC North team. Uh, <laughs> the fact that you bet on Denver and Carolina. You deserve to get your ass whooped. I mean, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. He likes it. He yeah. likes the team that's playing on Friday. I I bet your team degenerately too. The Steelers way too much last yeah. year, uh, yeah. and I, it burned I, I, me. I would time. say, I would say, I did give good advice on when to bet the Steelers and when to not. <laughs> Listen, I just bet the under every week and I made money. All right, leave me alone. You're gonna do that again <laughs> this year, and you'll do fine. Um, <laughs> do? I can um, do it this week. All right, and then uh, Los Angeles Rams plus three and a half. We already talked a lot about that one. We already knew that that was one of his best bets. And then Baltimore KC, we already talked about as well. Those primetime unders early in the season are going to be something that I think uh, are going to carry over into this season. I think primetime unders are something to really kind of ride again early on in the season. No exception here with Baltimore and KC. Uh, Guys, again, uh, contests. If you haven't joined the contest, it's free. Super contest, four picks against the spread every week. Now, for all these, you have to be in these leagues before these games kick off uh, tomorrow. So join in. It's free, and you can win prizes. You can win shirts, mugs, hoodies, all these different things. If you win, we're going to throw you guys some cool Action Lab prizes. But what's better than a free contest and free uh, stuff if you win? It's a free roll. Why not do it? Jump in, guys. You have to jump in. Um, Listen, can I just say one thing real quick, quick, Chris? Yep. All I know is everybody that finishes above rec should get a t-shirt that says, I finished above rec and have him sign all the shirts. (laughs) I'll take that. I'll take that. Only if I get commissions on it. (laughs) I'll give you you exactly $1. Um, All right. And let's get to my picks. I already talked about Green Bay plus three. I think that's the sharp bet there. I really like Green Bay to keep it close. Again, we talked a lot about how Green Bay didn't really lose much, and they were had an MVP caliber season in the second half with Jordan Love. I think that carries over. Green Bay plus three feels really good. Uh, I already talked about my Dallas teased up to eight and a half. I didn't cover the other game. It was the Cincinnati Bengals visiting. Is it? Oh, no. Cincinnati Bengals hosting the New England Patriots. New England Patriots, this spread was eight and a half. It's now, I think, down to maybe eight, potentially. Uh, Let me double check the actual line currently. Um, It is still eight and a half. So that's that teaser. Two and a half, eight and a half. Uh, Eight and a half. Down to two and a half, you get past that key number of three. All you got to do is win by a field goal. Even if it's close, I don't think it's going to be close. The New England Patriots over under total on the season is four and a half. I don't even think they get to four. Um, We'll see. I don't know. Uh, But Cincinnati Bengals, I know that there's some things going on with Jamar Chase. And he did return to practice this past week or in the last day or so. What that means, who knows? Um, Yeah, what that means, who knows? Uh, So he's getting up to speed. But Cincinnati Bengals are going to be very popular week one because the New England Patriots are just a terrible team. Uh, so survivor picks. Cincinnati is a really, really great pick for you. Um, also, the fact that I'm getting him at two and a half just to win this game by a field goal or more. I love it. I tease that. So Dallas plus eight and a half. Cincinnati minus two and a half. That's my teaser of the week. I already talked about Pittsburgh Atlanta under 42 and a half. I think it's now currently at 42 flat right now. So I got a little extra value there. Uh, but I just think that's going to be a low scoring game. I think the 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 Pittsburgh Steelers will have a defense that's going to slow things down for Atlanta. I think Atlanta's going to, um, you know, have some um, struggles as well, scoring uh, a little bit. I, I think that overall, I just think Generally, I just don't believe in Pittsburgh's offense quite yet. So that I I, I'm that leaning much. on the offense of Pittsburgh bringing this total down by themselves. And then finally, <laughs> again, uh, Scotty and I both agree, Baltimore, Casey, um, 
Um, actually, I have over on here. It's under. It's under, by the way. I, I miss. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to say. Like, I don't know why you would have the over. Because that under looks really hot. No, 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 no. It's under. Sorry. D don't disregard the over 46. Uh, it's under. It's it's under, under, under. Um, we both had under. So I have breaking news for you. Go ahead. Ooh. I have Tori's uh, parlay if you'd like to hear it. Let's hear it. Oh, no. All right. So keep in mind, chat, this is Tori. She's in the chat. She's got the pink screen name, Tori Games. She has Xavier Worthy over 46 and a half receiving yards. Zay Flowers over 52 and a half receiving yards. Derrick Henry, anytime touchdown. <laughs> she said hi. There you go, chat. And then for the Bengals-Patriots game, she got over one and a half passing touchdowns for Joey B. The Bengals to win. Zach Moss, anytime touchdown. And then the Bears-Titans game, she has Caleb Williams with over one and a half passing touchdowns. The Bears to win. Saquon Barkley with over 15 and a half reception yards. And then Najee Harris to record over 24 and a half rushing yards. There's Y'all... She is insane with some of those picks. I, uh, I mean, hey, fan. I like it. It's spicy. spicy. It's spicy. It's um, I like it. I like it, Tori. Take a chance. Why not? Take a chance. You might be rolling in the cash, cashing it in later. So make sure. Um, By the way, go charge your damn phone. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, Adamantium Chess. Fantasy question. Start or sit Drake London? Uh, I mean, I would, I would, well, yeah, I guess what, I mean, what are your other options? Maybe, maybe as a, I was gonna say, maybe as a flex option. Um, Jaden, Reed, Jaden Addison, Reed, Addison, London. London. Um, knowing the total is a little lower, I mean, it's something to keep an eye on, but I feel like it, we are, we've been really high on the Atlanta Falcons with Kirk Cousins. Yeah. And Drake London has been one of the standouts. I feel like you have to throw him at least in the flex. Um, at very least, London's going to be the wide receiver one on his team, correct. which is, gives him a boost over Reed and Addison. So I go that route, knowing he's going to get targets. Yeah. At lab. Yeah, that's right. ATL lab. We, we love our... Uh, just start... Put him in there. Start him in at wide receiver one in that case. Uh, <laughs> you got the ATO lab here with the with no with, with no hope that the Falcons can push the total over forty two and a half. I have. Uh, I'll share one of my spicy uh, donkey teasers uh, if you want. Uh, so I I literally looked at everything that was like one and a half to two and a half or eight and a half. All my favorite teasers. Um, so here's what I got. I teased all these together. Uh, I got Green Bay plus eight and a half. Cincinnati minus two and a half. Indy plus eight and a half. New York Giants plus seven and a half against Minnesota. And Dallas plus eight and a half. Uh, I think, you know, those are some interesting uh, teasers that I think Dallas could potentially win that game out, right? New York Giants uh, against the Minnesota Vikings team with a quarterback situation that's uh, not ideal. Vikings are kind of in a weird spot. So Giants, all you got to do is cover seven and a half at home. Um, but you got to score. Hopefully you can score. Um, Indianapolis Colts, I think, can cover eight and a half against Houston Texans. I think that game's going to be close anyway. Uh, Cincinnati... We already talked about and Green Bay. We already talked about. So, yeah, there's a there's a spicy little uh, donkey teaser that you guys can uh, experiment with. Maybe take two, put them together. Maybe take three, put them together if you want. Have fun. Why not? It's spicy. It's spicy. Uh, spicy donkey teaser is taking Jacksonville money line. I mean, it's not a teaser by Ooh. itself, but Jacksonville money line. What's that looking like? Uh, Jacksonville money line. <laughs> They're in Miami, so that's that should be a pretty high number. Uh, let's take a look here. Jacksonville, that is plus one forty six. I thought, yeah, I mean, plus three and a half well, for only, Jacksonville. Only plus one forty six. 
Only plus 146. Miami's minus I mean, 174. I don't think that's enough value to take the Jaguars. Yeah, I think I would probably want a little more. Um, but, I mean, it's it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Um, right. it's I just, terrible. do I think, Miami's good at home early in the season. Uh, I just think that they're, yeah, exactly. they're typically really good early um, at home. So, uh, Action Lab, any way you can quickly explain how all the challenges work? Uh, how are we supposed to be making our picks and such? It would be very helpful. Well, yes, yes. What, what is it? Pick it's the the office pool. The office pool one, I think, is the one that he has. Oh, this. okay. Uh, let me put the contest well, in one more time. Um, he said all the challenges. I'll just run through them really quick. So yeah, you pick them. That you pick every game every week. Eliminate. You pick well, one. Well, you pick, you pick every game, game straight up. Week. Yes. So you, you yeah. eliminate. You pick one game straight up, and you do it each week, but you can't reuse the same team. And then office pool challenge, you pick four games with the spread. Just like quick, it's just different kinds of pickums. Yeah. So basically, yeah. Um, and and medic, you could always DM me as well. Uh, but yeah, pick them. The regular pick them is picking every single game just straight up who you think is gonna win every game, and then uh, you get a, a record based off of your win loss total of how many you pick. At the end of the season, whoever has the best win loss total wins. Uh, the the off the super contest is four picks against the spread. You just got to pick four uh, each and every single week. Uh, which what what you think is going to happen with the spread? And then yeah, the um, survivor you only can pick one team, uh, the same team once. So let's say you pick Cincinnati is your is your team for this week to beat New England. You can't use Cincinnati again. They're locked. The you have to pick another team the next week. So on and so forth. So you kind of got to be strategic with how you uh, go um, in picking those because you won't be able to. Um, so we're picking underdogs for the super contest? No, not necessarily. Like, uh, for example, I mean, if if you if you like a favorite, you could pick a favorite. For example, uh, um, if if you like the if you like the Eagles minus three, the Chiefs minus three, you can pick that. Yeah. Just know that. Just know that. You, they have to win by at least three. Yeah. So, I mean, for example, if I was going to bet a favorite, yeah, I would take the Chiefs minus three to win, uh, and they're the favorites. So I could do that if I wanted to. Or you can take big numbers, like, you know, again, the eight and a half for New England that they're getting. Like, if you feel like it's going to be a closer game, take that. Same thing with uh, some of these others. So you could pick any side. You don't have, you're not locked into picking underdogs. Uh, for the super contest, you just go with your gut on adding those um, those spreads into the equation. Um, uh, Rams plus three and a half, cards plus six and a half, easy. Mean Machine, welcome in. Who's your teams and where are you from? <laughs> like to get to know you. Um, I like actually. You're right, Mean Machine. If there's one game we didn't talk about. It's the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, Arizona Cardinals, they are flying East Coast um, on Sunday to face the Buffalo Bills. I do think that the Arizona Cardinals are a sneaky team. A lot of the money, I feel like that, That where did that open up? I want to say that the Arizona Cardinals opened uh, at a little bit bigger number, and then it shifted. Let me double check, though. Um, or maybe it was... It was Buffalo minus five and a half at one point. Uh, so yeah, there's been a little bit of movement, but six and a half seems like a little bit too much, um, especially with an Arizona Cardinals team that I think will be on the upswing. I think you're going into the season. Kyler's going to be healthy. He's going to go into it with some weapons. You got, you know, some, some tight end and receiver help for him. Uh, that's going to be helpful as well. So it wouldn't shock me if it like, that game I thought about Arizona, it wouldn't shock me if that was a closer game than than people think. Yeah. Um. So let me get this straight. Pickham is best win loss record for the season. Eliminator is one team per week. Um. And the super one that's confusing me. So, um. Medic. Yeah. It's 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 about the how Vegas balances with point spreads, because uh. What Vegas will do is they'll try to entice you. That's what, you know, you see the pluses and the minuses here. Um, 
they try to entice you to bet the other side. Like if let's say the Kansas City Chiefs are playing the Carolina Panthers, everyone knows that the Chiefs will probably win that game. But to get people to think about it a little bit more, they'll say, we're going to give Carolina 17 points against Kansas City. I would still take the Chiefs. Uh, yeah, you might. Um, I'm going to give them 17 points. And maybe you're like, well, the, can the Chiefs win by 17 points? I don't know. Maybe I take Carolina. So it gives, it, it balances the game. Uh, that would normally be a one-sided matchup. So that's what, that's what it works. But you're we're tallying your record in uh it, with those two. So um it's four games every week, final record at the end. So so with eighteen with eighteen weeks, quick math, that's seventy two games. Yeah. So your win loss record will be similar um to that. Uh four games each week. Um and, and an eliminator, if you get one pick wrong, you're eliminated, hence the name. So it's just who can go the farthest. You can go the longest without taking a game wrong. Um, hit that follow button, guys, if you're enjoying the content. And if, feel free to DM me, Medi, uh, Medic. I can definitely help you out. DM me. I'm always available on the Discord. Guys, join the Discord uh, and join the contest. Uh, uh, there's the Discord there for you. Um, oh, by the way, Chris, we had a celebrity visit my hometown uh, yesterday. Oh yeah, Demar. was it Joey Chestnut? No, it was not. I wish it was Joey Chestnut. Then he could give back <laughs> some hot dog tips. Um, no, I Dave, can... Dave Portnoy visited my hometown. Literally got pizza. Literally, if I if I would show you guys my camera outside my window across the street, he was literally there to try our uh, a local pizza. That's sick. You should you should have gone out and like crashed his uh crashed his I video. Was the old man yelling at clouds when he went by. Gosh. Also, for everyone that's here, we will not be on Twitch this Sunday or next Wednesday. So join the playback link in the chat if you want to stick around for the next week. Yeah, guys, uh, I will not be here for the next couple streams. Uh, I will be, I will be uh, watching games at a crazy hour um, because that's what happens when you're eight hours ahead in Europe. So. Uh, I will be there for the next two streams, but I will be back um, uh, the following Sunday. So, guys, you will be in great hands with Rec and Doc here. Uh, they'll be taking you through all the games. Um, Me, not Rec. Me, not Rec. Not Rec. <laughs> no, no uh, not Scotty. No. And Scotty, yes. Um, but, guys, hit that, not Scotty. <laughs> hit that follow button as always. Uh, who the hell is Dave Portnoy? <laughs> Dave Portnoy is uh, the, the he's Barstool Sports. He he owns the Barstool oh. Sports, uh, but he yeah. does. And this, Taiwan doesn't like him. Yeah, he does. Listen, this that's thing. fine. But he just brought a crap ton of business to a bunch of local businesses here. By regardless of how you feel about him, um, a buddy of mine works in our one department where he talks about like what incomes we get, and he said on his visit that. They had made money already positive enough money to actually fix a lot of the roads around here. So people are people are buying the food regardless of how he feels about them. So hey, it helps our local our local town. We're a little borough. Makes we sense. only have like fifteen hundred people in our town. So leave us alone. <laughs> there you go. Um, all right. Well, there you go, guys. Um, let's go ahead. We'll close up the stream here. We'll, let me let me see who we're gonna raid somebody out. Uh, let me see who is live as we speak. Um, let's see. We got good old P leaf. Oh, I, we did say we would send everyone over to Brendan, uh, this time. If he's live. Yeah. If you're live, I, I think he is. So, um, I think we'll send we you over. Repeat, yeah. We'll send you over to Brendan. He's playing some, uh, multiverses, I think, uh, some, a video game, uh, but he's a community member. He's always hanging out um in the community he's always uh here chatting with us in the in the uh action lab so make sure you guys go give brendan some love uh and uh we're gonna send you over i i promised that we would send you over to him um so no music tonight uh to ease you in but brendan will take good care of you and uh make sure that you guys are well um entertained 
otherwise guys let's close up shop here tonight let's get out of here um i fixed my credits so we're gonna get the credits rolling for y'all hi all right oh yeah why not let's do it let's let's highlight all the people that help support us on this show tonight uh so there you go let's get that rolling look at those beautiful credits uh guys thank you Yay. for being here <laughs> we, it, we, guys it's week one it's week one of the nfl season <laughs> Can we can we get some W's in the chat for week one? Uh, I mean, this is one of the greatest times of the year for NFL. It's almost it's weird. Like I'm excited for my Europe trip. I'm excited to go to Rome with my family and be there and hang out. But I'm like it's bittersweet because I really love football and I really love week one. And this is the first time I've ever been away for the, the hype of week one NFL. I'm going to go over there and they're going to be like, you know, wait, what? Football? We have uh, English Premier League soccer. Um, yeah. <laughs> that That's what's important to us. And so, yeah, it'll be a little bit different not having this, not being around the same hype that you guys will be around. So, I'm jealous of you guys, but I'm going to miss you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. Scotty, Rec, and Doc will be around uh, on playback.tv. So, go check them out. And we will make sure that you guys are good, uh, taken care of when it comes to all the NFL content we have coming your way. Uh, join the Discord, join the contest, as mentioned, if you haven't already. And then also, I'm uploading all of these videos. I'm going to stay up late tonight and upload this week one preview. So go give those videos some love on YouTube. Uh, all of our socials are... Can you put the socials in the chat uh, as well? Yeah. Um, so that people can go check the videos out and and know where we are on social media so i love you guys i hope you have a fantastic week one guys go live in the moment go be uh you know good people but this the, live in the moment but put the phones down unless you're checking your fantasy teams and all your bets because i guess that counts too but take a minute from all of those things even and just enjoy sitting on the couch with your friends and family and watching some football on week one there's nothing better and you will just get that much more excitement out of it. I guarantee you will. True. Uh, Doc, Rec, anything else you guys want to say uh, to end the show? Nah, thanks for ha hanging out. Thanks for having me here and uh, safe travels for you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, same here. Yeah, nothing too much. See all of y'all on playback. All right. There you go. Short, sweet, and to the point. Love it. Uh, yep. all right, guys, go give Brendan some love again. He is, uh, always hanging out here, um, uh, with us. Uh, but he's, I think playing some, some games, uh, right now, um, multiverses, which looks interesting. I, I've never, never really, I heard about this game, but I don't know anything about it. So, um, there you go. Go support our fellow community member. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your night and we will see you next time love you i'll see you on next uh in like a week and a half but you're about to say next time how's it next time yeah. it, next time is a week and a half i uh, love you guys have a great night bye everybody <laughs>